Welcome to Cengage Learning's video on completing homework assignments in MindTap for Mathematics, Statistics, and Physics. This is an installment of the Digital Course Support self-training video series for students. Our agenda for this video is to guide you through navigating the learning path, accessing activities and assignments, and solving problems. In developing MindTap for math, statistics, and physics, we're trying to help you easily navigate your course and stay organized in order to complete assignments on time. When you log into MindTap, you have two options for viewing your learning path. By default, your learning path opens to the week view, allowing you to review which activities are assigned by your instructor each week. Click the arrows to the right of the corresponding week to expand and condense its details. At the top right of the learning path, click the Topic View icon to find the full contents of the course broken down by chapter and section. If your instructor assigns an activity to a particular topic, you can find it under that section. If the activity is not associated with the topic, it will fall under Course Materials. From either learning path view, click on the activity name to begin. For practice, homework, and quiz assignments, you are presented with problems to solve. You may work through the questions in any order you wish by clicking the numbers on the left-hand side or by clicking Next Question. Enter the answers using the math palette as needed, and when ready to submit the answer, click Submit Answer at the bottom of the screen. Complete the rest of the assignment this way. The number box will be light blue on the left-hand side, indicating that you attempted the problem. When you answer correctly, the box is navy blue. By clicking the menu icon above the list of problems, your score, the possible score, and attempts remaining for each problem are displayed. Click the X to close the window. On the right side of the problem, you have access to the step-by-step -step help resources. There are five possible types of resources that may be available to you. Step Me Through It shows you how to break the problem down into multiple steps to focus on the process of solving the problem. Let Me Practice allows you to practice similar problems without penalty if you get the wrong answer. Info and Examples presents relevant excerpts from your textbook. Formulas offers equations and formulas that are useful for the problem at hand. And Show Me a Video offers a brief step-by-step -step video solution of a similar exercise. Depending on the settings determined by your instructor, these may not all be displayed for all questions. Sometimes the resources are only available after you submit an attempt for a question. Click on any of the side-by-side -side help tabs to expand the resources alongside the question. You never have to open a new tab or new window. However, you have the option to move the resource around on the screen. After an incorrect attempt on a homework problem, you are able to click See Previous to check which answers you've submitted. MindTap automatically saves your work, capturing every submission and attempt as you progress through the assignment. You can work a few problems and log in later to complete the rest as your schedule permits. It's your choice. When you've completed the assignment, simply close out. There's no need to hit Submit Assignment because MindTap saves your work. Once the due date or time for the assignment passes, your work is submitted for final grading and your score is recorded in the gradebook within the Progress app. Thank you for taking the time to review this self-training video. We hope you found it helpful. Please make sure to check out our other self-training videos and resources for more help with your Cengage digital products.